Some of you know, there's a new racing game coming out. Le Mans Ultimate, a world endurance championship game being made by the same guys that brought us R Factor 2. However, if you're in the sim racing scene, you probably already know that Studio 397 was bought out by Motorsport Games in 2021. And that's where I'm a bit worried. NASCAR 21 Ignition. If you're not familiar with it, well, let's, let's just give you a small rundown on the whole saga. The game, launched as an unplayable buggy mess, shoddy AI work in the single player, less content compared to previous installments in the NASCAR video games, and a lot more. This game was hyped up as a fresh start for the console NASCAR market after the lackluster heat NASCAR games, but failed tremendously. Some even going back to the Heat games because they were more polished and they had more content than NASCAR 21 Ignition. Okay, okay. Tangent over. Motorsport games were the ones that developed and published NASCAR 21 Ignition. And I, I, think, I think you can see where this is going. Motorsport games has had a tumultuous, rocky past, present and possibly future. From allegations of disgruntled ex-employees leaking source codes of its games due to more allegations of Motorsport games not paying its employees wages. Not only this, but the company was boiled in controversy with former CEO Dimitri Kosko being accused of mismanaging the company. If you want a more in-depth look into the whole Motorsport games saga, check out Austin Ogonowski's YouTube channel where he does an awesome some deep dive research into the company and its troublesome personnel and past. With only releasing one game so far, Motorsport Games holds licenses to some of the most top class motorsport franchises such as NASCAR, IndyCar, the British Touring Car Championship and of course the World Endurance Championship. And since only releasing the lackluster NASCAR 21 Ignition, that's, that's a huge amount of responsibility on a game company boiled in controversy. However, there have been reports that NASCAR and perhaps IndyCar are looking for a way out of their contracts. And with the news of the new BTCC game being supposedly cancelled, which is compounded by the release of all the BTCC content into R Factor 2, this company just gets weirder and weirder the more you look into it. Now, okay, I'm this video isn't about hating on motorsport games. They, I guess, have supposedly turned a new leaf. There is a new CEO um, after Costco stepped down. What does this mean for Le Mans Ultimate, though? Well, unlike the IndyCar game, which was announced, but we have literally seen zero gameplay or anything, the Le Mans Ultimate game actually does exist, with people getting their hands on it at the Le Mans 24 hour this year. And however, feedback being mainly positive, it still, you know, it still pays to not get our hypes up too much, considering everything that's happened with this company. So it's good to just set our expectations. And although Studio 397, having developed a relatively popular sim in R Factor 2, itself and motorsport games is still a product to be wary of.